Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, continuing on showing off my CD collection. From here on out, it's going to be business as usual. Those last couple videos, like I said, that's all the stuff I've got to listen to before shoving away. From here on out, this is all going to be coming straight off of the shelf. I'm going to be showing it to you. So, and you're going to notice that some of these are going to have sleeves, some of them not, because those that are broken up, or I only want certain amounts from that band or whatever. I usually keep in spinners or just, you know, various places that don't require me to put them in a plastic sleeve. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with a couple bands that really don't need any introduction at all. Candlemass, Epicus, Dumicus, Metallicus. This is uh, Nightfall, probably my favorite of the bunch. Uh, Ancient Dreams. Uh, Tales of Creation. Uh, from the 13th Sun. This is the self-titled. Which, you know, I like the idea of putting the Candlemas logo sticker on the jewel case. But if this ever gets cracked, I am fucked. Uh, King of the Grey Islands. Uh, Lucifer Rising. And their last one, Death Magic Doom. Next up, we have uh, Cathedral, Forest of Equilibrium, uh, The Ethereal Mirror, uh, The Carnival Bazaar, which was actually my very first Cathedral album. I found that used at a, I think it was at a CD store that's no longer in business. I found it years ago. Hopkins, The Witchfinder General. Uh, this is Supernatural Birth Machine. Caravan Beyond Redemption, The Garden of Unearthly Delights, and their last album, The Last Spire. All right. Next up, another band doesn't really need any introduction. Typo Negative, Slow, Deep, and Hard. Uh, Bloody Kisses. Classic stuff right there. October Rust. World, uh, world coming down. I don't know why I wanted to say world downfall for whatever reason. <laughs> and uh, dead again. As you can see, my typo collection is kind of lacking, but I will rectify that soon. Uh, Isentor, mighty and superior. This is a really, really good uh, Russian band, who of course are not around anymore because their vocalist uh, committed suicide. But this is Scald with Will of the Gods is a great power. Really, really good doom metal album. This guy had an amazing voice, in my opinion. You know, it's tragic that he had to kill himself the way he did. From what I read, if I remember right, he threw himself in front of a train. What a way to go. Uh, this is Hour of Thirteen, self-titled. And The Ritualist. Reverend Bazaar, Harbinger of Metal, another band that I need to complete my collection on. Two, Crush the Insects. This is Acid Bath, When the Kite String Pops. As you can probably guess from this, this video and the next one are going to mostly be Doom and Sludge and stuff like that. But yeah, When the Kite String Pops, Acid Bath. And this is Pagan, Terror uh, Pagan Terrorism Tactics. Uh, grief with dismal and what's this one? Miserably ever after. And we have cemetery with godless beauty and also last confession. Sorry, really hard to read. <clears throat> Next up, doom sword with resound the horn. Another great doom metal band. Check these guys out. This this album in particular is fucking amazing. And then we have, uh, I think this is just self titled Yeah, this is a self-titled, I do believe. And My Name Will Live On. Pagan Altar, Lords of Hypocrisy. And the Pagan Altar album. Witch Sorrow. Self-titled, really good Doom album, very heavy, very slow. God Curse Us, their follow-up. 
Next, we have Havayoth, His Creation Reversed. I love this album. Uh, just check out the song Wounds. Great, great song. This is a project uh, featuring Venter Sorg. This is one of his many projects. It's kind of a gothic y doom type stuff. Really, really good stuff. I highly recommend you check it out, though it's definitely not going to be for everybody. Ghost, Opus Eponymous, uh, Infestissimum. And this is uh, If You Have Ghost EP. This is the, I don't even really know how to say this, Cerise single. And of course their latest one, Meliora. Really great album in my opinion. A lot better than Infestissimum. This is uh, Seventh Void, Heaven Is Gone. Really good stuff. A Pale Horse Named Death, Lay My Soul to Waste. The Obsessed, Lunar Womb, and The Church Within. Really need to track down a copy of their self-titled, but it's not easy because a lot of people want a lot of money for that for some reason. Spirit Caravan, Elusive Truth, another wino project. And then again, a band who needs no introduction at all. St. Vitus with the self-titled. This is... Uh, down. The Walking Dead, Hollow's Victim, Mournful Cries, and my personal favorite album, Born Too Late. Great album. Not a bad song on here. Uh, my personal favorite, of course, has always been Dying Inside. I could listen to that song all day and never get tired of it. V. The St. Vitus Live. COD, uh, Die Healing, and of course their latest album, Lily F65. This is the two disc edition that for some reason the second disc has popped out. It's getting all scuffed up. That's just lovely. Have no idea how that happened. Anyway, there we are. Yeah, I'm going to have to clean that up a little bit. Esol, Bliss of Solitude, only out of my own from them. Not sure if I'll get any more though. Solitude Eternus, Beyond the Crimson Horizon. And Through the Darkest Hour. This is uh, Downfall, again, Solitude Eternus. And then another project Rob Lowe was in, Concept of God, Visions. And the last band for this part is Orange Goblin. This is the uh, box set that came with their first uh, five albums in it. I was kind of disappointed, though, because it was supposed to come with a patch, and mine did not have a patch. So I was pretty upset about that. Then we have uh, Healing Through Fire. Uh, and a Eulogy for the Damned. And their live album. Eh, as I'm about to drop it, a Eulogy for the fans. So there we are. That is it for this part. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.